400,000 people are sterilized between 1933 and 1945. And these are ordinary German citizens because they don't fit the master race principle. Welcome to Watch Mojo. And today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 most evil men in history. Of his record as a dictator and an utterly ruthless man, but then a lot of people get to the top of ruthless. For this list, we'll be looking at the wickedest men throughout recorded history. We will be discussing some rather sensitive and violent subject matter, so please consider this your content warning. Are there any evildoers you think we missed? If so, please share with us in the comments below. Number 10. Caligula Many Roman emperors can be described as self-centered, but Caligula's appetite for amusement, decadence, and blood were on another level. The emperor's short temper and even shorter attention span resulted in countless deaths of his subjects. Is this guy a dentist or Caligula? Caligula killed people for his own personal amusement. During one particularly vile episode, he even ordered his guards to put game spectators in an arena to be eaten by wild animals because he was bored during intermission. The emperor was indulgent and purposely wasted money, which led to starvation among his subjects. He, he's said on some occasions to have gone up to the first floor of a building in the Forum and actually thrown money, thrown coins at the crowd. He openly slept with married women and sold his sisters to other men. His family's disregard for their female relatives continued with Caligula's nephew Nero, who killed his own mother during his reign several years later. Number 9. Kim Jong-il In the vein of families of evil leaders, Kim Jong-il is both the father and son of other controversial North Korean figures. The government under Kim Jong-il was regarded as one of the most repressive on the entire planet, with no freedom of religion, press, or political opposition. Very tight control of every aspect of a citizen's life. Attempts to control every aspect of flows of information from the outside world. Concentration camps for people who are misbehaving. With nearly every facet of day-to-day -day life controlled by the government, Kim Jong-il's regime had hundreds of thousands of political prisoners wrongfully incarcerated. During his regime, North Korea suffered through a famine, which was further exacerbated by Kim Jong-il's mismanagement of land and the economy. Between 240,000 and 3.5 million North Koreans perished due to the four-year famine. Kim Jong-il left North Korea in very dire straits. The economy has never been worse may still suffer from great famine. Kim Jong-il's oppressive and disastrous policies have been continued under his son, Kim Jong-un, since the former's 2011 death. Number 8. Saddam Hussein Hussein's reign was one of political turmoil, war, and human rights violations. From the very beginning, it involved attacks and the destruction of thousands of villages and the displacements and deaths of hundreds of thousands of inhabitants. During these attacks and forcible relocations, thousands of civilians were wiped out and seriously injured by chemical weapons. I have to watch every single feeling I have and not express it, because as my mother said, he knows how to read eyes. Citizens were forced into silence and were wrongfully imprisoned if they spoke out. Political prisoners were subjected to cruel treatment, including beatings that often proved fatal. Many prisoners also disappeared under mysterious circumstances. Even years after Hussein's 2006 execution, these people remain unaccounted for. Hussein's rule was filled with diaspora, repression, and countless crimes against humanity. Number 7. Leopold II of Belgium Greed is among the seven deadly sins for a reason, and this wicked tyrant personified it. Leopold was a colonizer to the core. He claimed ownership of an area called the Congo Free State, but its citizens were anything but free. Leopold exploited both the Congolese people and natural resources. The tyrant exported ivory to build his own personal wealth, but it was the labor-intensive collection and exportation of rubber tree sap that led to the majority of his atrocities. Leopold forced native populations to harvest the rubber. When his insanely high quotas were not met, the people and their families were beaten, mutilated, and killed. King Leopold took one hand for every hundred slaves in the Congo to keep them in line. Leopold was responsible for the death of more than 10 million Congolese people, half of the population. Number 6. Mao Zedong As the founder of the People's Republic of China, the controversial Chairman Mao's legacy is extremely complex. <laughs> In 
During Mao's 27-year rule, his policies led to the deaths of between 40 million and 80 million people. These casualties were mostly the result of starvation from the Great Chinese Famine that resulted from the agricultural policies of the Great Leap Forward. Still more people perished from beatings, mass executions, and prison labor. While Mao did not directly order the majority of these deaths, his policies led to mass casualties and trauma, the effects of which are still being felt today. Number 5. Genghis Khan As one of the most infamous conquerors in history, Genghis Khan committed countless atrocities during his conquests and is believed to be responsible for between 40 and 60 million deaths. He engaged in, in terror for psychological reasons, for strategic reasons. Considering they destroyed approximately 10% of the world's population, Khan and his armies murdered quite a few people, but they were also responsible for driving cities to starvation and cannibalism. Khan's forces left mountains of bones made up of the remains of those they slaughtered as a warning to others not to stand in their way. Khan's ruthlessness laid cities to waste and struck fear in the hearts of millions. One of the most frightening things about fighting the Mongols is this army appeared suddenly, as if from nowhere, maneuvered in absolute discipline and total silence. Number four, Vlad the Impaler. Anyone with that nickname has to be pretty wicked. Also known as Vlad Dracula, this extremely cruel man ruled Wallachia intermittently between 1448 and 1477. His three reigns were punctuated by periods of exile, imprisonment, and unease. During both his times in and out of power, Vlad committed unspeakable acts of cruelty and would be considered a war criminal by modern standards. Vlad sated his bloodthirsty ways by ordering inhumane executions such as disembowelment, skinning people alive, and boiling his enemies. However, his Impaler moniker came from one of the worst acts of mass murder of all time. In 1462, the vicious Vlad had 20,000 Turk prisoners impaled on wooden stakes. It's no wonder his horrors might have later inspired Bram Stoker to write Dracula. Number 3. Pol Pot This leader of the Khmer Rouge regime was the architect of the Cambodian genocide and devastating policies that led to widespread famine and deaths from preventable diseases. Pol Pot believed cities were evil and planned to rebuild Cambodia as an agrarian society. Anything modern was considered impure. The Khmer Rouge's xenophobic and racist views and policies led to widespread murders of minorities throughout Cambodia. The regime imprisoned, tortured, and destroyed those who opposed it. Prisoners were subjected to horrific medical experiments, which often resulted in agonizingly drawn-out deaths. Many prisoners were executed in the infamous killing fields and buried in mass graves. Pol Pot and the Khmer Rouge ended the lives of between 1.5 and 2 million Cambodian citizens, a quarter of the country's population. Number 2. Joseph Stalin As the leader of the Soviet Union, Stalin established and continued many controversial and damaging policies and practices. Although he did not create the Gulag system, Stalin took full advantage of it, placing millions of Soviet citizens in the prisons and labor camps. It was all planned economies, five-year plans, and if you didn't play by his rules, you went off to a labor camp, and, or you were summarily executed in, in some fashion. Political prisoners and other undesirables were locked away, and fear of the Gulag kept citizens from speaking out against the government. Stalin's policies led to Holodomor, one of the worst famines in history. He used food shortages as a political tool and ensured certain areas were affected more than others, which resulted in millions of people perishing. Stalin's rule led to widespread suffering throughout the Soviet Union. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into settings and switch on your notifications. Number 1. Adolf Hitler I expect every German to do his duty to the last, and that he be willing to take upon himself every sacrifice he will be asked to make. Although there were many wicked people associated with the Holocaust, such as the vile SS commander Heinrich Himmler, the most evil of all was, of course, Hitler. As the dictator of Nazi Germany, Hitler invaded Poland in 1939, igniting World War II in the process. World War II became the deadliest conflict in human history, totaling between 70 and 85 million deaths. Hitler's heinous views led to the Holocaust, 
during which he and his collaborators murdered two-thirds of Europe's Jewish population. The Holocaust claimed six million Jewish lives and millions of lives among other persecuted populations, including Roma, Ukrainians, and Polish people. It's no wonder Hitler's name is synonymous with horrific evil. Jews eventually were forced to wear the famous yellow stars. Brutal, menacing stormtroopers stood at the entrance to the stores with placards saying, don't buy it from Jews. 